Man, what's up everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Do Got an Eagle fan coming at y'all with another video. And today I want to talk about Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Cleveland Cavaliers, a.k.a. the Akron LeBrons, versus the Boston Celtics, a.k.a. the Clover G's. I mean, what happened... What happened in Game 3 is pretty much what everybody should have expected to happen. I mean, LeBron was at home on his home court facing an 0-2 deficit. He had like, it felt like three weeks off since Game 2. So, I mean, you know, the other little players like George Hill and J.R. Smith, you know, they had to show they behind at home and try to finally make some shots and stuff like that. Even Larry Nance Jr., you know, it gave him some little, uh, the Cavs some little minutes and stuff like that, bro. But, like, you know, they beat him down, man. Did what they were supposed to do at home, man. Before the series started, I picked the Akron LeBrons to win in six. I'm not backing off that prediction yet, man. But I will acknowledge, man, Boston is a better team, bro. Like, Boston is a better team, man. Like, even without Kyrie, even without Haywood, bro. To be honest, Cleveland miss Kyrie more than Boston do. You know, LeBron liked to have that one person, you know, for a quarter that he could just chill out and they could just take over the whole quarter, like 14, 16, 20 points or so. You know, Boston got a coach, man, and Brad Stevens, who out there looking like Dougie PB looking on the sideline for the Eagles. And drawing up some nice plays, man, and getting people good looks. Plus, they don't have no great players, but they got a lot of good players. You know what I'm saying? So, game four is going to be very, very interesting, man. It's going to be very interesting, man. I mean, like I said, I'm not giving up on LeBron's, you know. But, I mean, the Clover G's got a better team, man. You know, last night, I mean, I, I wouldn't read too much into it, especially from a Boston perspective, because it's like, you know, Cleveland obviously was the way, way more desperate team, man. They down 0-2. They at home. You know they roll. You know, they got some championship experience. You know they role players going to play better at home. You know, but game four going to be the telling tale if, if the LeBron's going to come out and tie this series up. And then there's... The Akron LeBron's in six could be a real possibility because then after that point, they just got to find a way to take one in Boston, you know. But if the Clover G's could come out there and somehow take game four, man, I mean, <laughs> it's going to get real, bro. It look like this might really happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, like, man, that, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all like and subscribe me on YouTube. Mr. Dugard, y'all have a blessing, man. Fly Eagles, fly, baby.